You also testified that uh, you would look to the Constitution and what, uh, what was meant in the Constitution at the time that it took effect, with enactment, ratification, whatever. This was back in 1789, when blacks couldn't vote and women couldn't vote. So if the Constitution had not been amended to let women and blacks vote, you would interpret the Constitution as not allowing these groups to vote? Senator, the, the Constitution has been amended. I'm thankful. No, it's been but amended, excuse but. me. If the Constitution had not been amended, and you're applying the Constitution as it was enacted, 1789, if the Constitution had not been amended to allow women and blacks to vote, by originalism, you would have to interpret the Constitution as not allowing these groups to vote. Isn't that right, Senator? I believe that that. We, live, we have a system of separation of powers. I believe that my job as a judge is to apply the law, not to make the policy decisions. And I, 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 um, I'm very thankful so, that the Constitution was amended. I think that was the right process to deal yes, with. Yes, but you know what? The, the point I'm making, of course, uh, which uh, uh, you're trying to get around, is that originalism means that you would interpret the Constitution at the time of its enactment, and, 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 and you would not allow women and blacks to vote, because that was not in the Constitution when it was ratified in 1789. Let's move on. 